<laughs> How messy was that? This is a messy video. Arr, the bane of my crochet existence. Forget it. They're not getting it. They are not getting my emotions from me today. No desire. Arr, gar, 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 gar. <laughs> I can't win with this. Should we just sit and have coffee and chat for a while? Because uh, I, what is even happening? <laughs> Do you know what? I've heard just just about enough of that today. I've heard just about enough of that today. Now you, you tell me how many stitches I need, dang you. You tell me and you tell me now. Today's mystery is being sponsored by the wonderful people at Hooks and Needles. Stay tuned for more. Okay, so here is this month's Hooks and Needles subscription box. I have not opened it yet, so here we go. Let's see what we got this month. There we go. New month, new patterns, and oh, look at these colors. I was gonna say these colors, but this color. What do we have here? Merino Ambience, 80% wool, 20% silk, 153 yards. Oh, that's pretty, 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 pretty. We get three of them. And the hook size we need this month is 4.5 millimeter. And oh, look at that. New scissors. Oh, that's nice. And what's this? Well, I'm not sure. Oh, this is, is this what I think it is? Is this polyfill? Just a minute. Let me look and see what the pattern is. This looks like some polyfill, if you look right there. This looks like polyfill in a vacuum sealed. Okay, just a moment, let me look at the pattern. Okay, so this one here is the plant hanger. Let's see what the polyfill is for now. Here is a star pillow, like a just a chair or a couch throw pillow. And then we have a mandala or mandala placemat, or you can call it a doily as well. And so that is with this very beautiful this is from Portugal. Again, 80% wool, 20% silk. Isn't that lovely? Calls for a five millimeter crochet hook. Uh, it is a three light. Oh, let's play around with the first pattern, the plant hanger. Just notice this. They pretty much tell you what's inside your box. You have an $80.70 value. So your crochet hooks, your patterns are a total of $17.85. There's your polyfill, your scissors, and then nearly $40 worth of that gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. Okay, I am going to mess around with that plant hanger pattern for just a bit. Okay, so at this point now, I am at row 10. I am moving right along. So while I continue to work, and by the way, at this point it says to measure your flower pot, which I don't have a flower pot, but I do have a candle holder that the best mother-in-law in the world ever, mine, uh, got picked up for me. So it measures it perfectly. I'm gonna pretend this is my flower pot. So while I continue to work, let's check out the website. Okay, so their website is really easy to navigate. What you're gonna get in the box every month, you're gonna get premium yarns that are brought to you straight from Italy and Portugal of 100% cotton, merino, alpaca wool, and more. Plus you're gonna get your extra special surprise every month and all of the crafting supplies that you need to make the pattern. They will send the pattern out on the seventh of every month and you can cancel at any time. I love that they say no yarns attached. Um, basically, they're just going to curate a box for you every month. It is $34 a month USD. So let's look at their packages. Right there, you can get crochet or knit. Look at that. Crochet is most popular. Crochet for the win. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, you get free gifts for life in every box worth at least $10. So you're going to get scissors, handmade labels, enamel charms, or a scented candle shaped like a little ball of yarn. I think it's super cute. Um, again, very, very easy website to navigate. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you can do knitting or crochet. I just love that. 
Okay, let's get back to the box. Okay, so there is the flower pot. And I guess you can't see it too, too well because um, it's, not, it's not holding an actual flower pot. Uh, but there you go. It was really, really easy to put it together. Let me back away a little bit. It was really easy to work this up. It literally took me maybe 45 minutes Obviously, the longest portion was working the bottom. So as far as the patterns in the book go, the first pattern used, let me show you, I mean, barely any of the, of the thread. So that's all you need to make one. So I would say you can make three or four of the, uh, three or four of these with just one. Pattern number two requires two full balls of this yarn. Pattern number three requires all three balls that the box comes with. So you can work pattern number one and pattern number two using all three of the balls that it comes with combined. So that's pretty good. So there you go. You can see all of my... <laughs> all of my crafting gear okay there will be a link in the description box and in the pinned comment where you can pick up your own box but be sure you use the link to get 20 percent off your first box okay guys let's get into today's vintage victorian era so technically antique mystery Let's just jump right in. Again, these are all from the Victorian era. And here we go. Let's pick our mystery pattern. What is it going to be today? Number 12. Okay. Well, where are you, number 12? That's eight, two, do we have to redraw? We have to redraw, apparently we don't have 12. Okay, we're gonna have to redraw because we don't have a number 12 pattern. Our bowl is getting really light. What do we have? Number eight, I can see a number eight right here, drawing from that same book, 1879. Apparently no picture with this one this time. And, well, there's the, I don't think that's the name of this book. Okay, half pound or quarter pound, I can't really tell if that's a two or a four, of double Berlin or single Berlin. So that is going to be a DK weight or sport weight or pretty close to a number four worsted weight. Number four worsted weight or like a sport weight or um, a DK weight. Make a chain of the length of the required length. All right, these ones are all these a little off for me because I don't know what it is. Uh, so I don't know what the required length is. Uh, you must leave off at the end of every row. Oh, I hate that. And afterward, run the ends of the wool in with a worsted needle. Arr, the bane of my crochet existence. The first two rows do every stitch U.S. double crochet for a foundation. Third row, nine U.S. double crochets, U.K. treble crochets. Six chain, miss two loops, one single crochet. Six chain, miss three loops, then repeat. Fourth row, nine US double crochet, 11 chain. And I'm not deciding that that's a US double crochet. Somebody in a comment said, are you just deciding to make US doubles because you're an American? No, um, in the UK, a treble crochet is exactly the same stitch as a U.S. double crochet. I'm not playing favorites. Uh, okay, uh, one single crochet into the middle loop of the row of chain in the preceding row. You will have to go into two together to make it come exactly in the center. Now do 11 more chain stitches repeat. Line with pink or white flannel and put a fringe on as page 42 of the ladies knitting book. If for, I don't know, it 
it need not be lined. Um, the, the issue, I was hoping reading the rest of it would help me figure out what this is a little bit to know what the length required is. So we're just going to wing it. Okay, so I'm going to be using this rust color and a five millimeter hook. All right, make a chain of the required length. So I don't know what the required length is. So whatever this is, we'll have to settle for being a sample size. So I haven't decided what the desired length will be. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to go ahead and start with 30 just to see how things look. Okay, you must leave off at the end of every row. Oh, I absolutely loathe that sometimes. And afterward, run the ends of wool. Run in the ends of wool with a worsted needle. Okay, the first two rows do every stitch a double crochet for a foundation. All right, let me go ahead and add two more chains. No, three more chains for my first double crochet. So it will be 31 double crochet. One, two, three, and the fourth stitch over. Gosh, I really hate to have to just cut off at the end of every row. <laughs> I will get over it. Okay, so I'm going to do two rows of double crochet, um, cutting off at the end of every row, and I will be right back whenever I'm done with those first two rows of double crochet. Okay, and I did work back loop only, as was the way they did it in this era. Okay, moving on. Third row, nine double crochet stitches, six chain miss two loops, one double crochet, six chain, miss three loops, repeat. Okay, and I did work uh, stacked single crochets. Starting off with a stacked single. That makes one, now back loop only, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, I think not having a specific stitch count is going to play into how well this design works out. I mean, obviously it is. They don't give you stitch counts. <laughs> okay, uh, or multiples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, chain six, three, four, five, six, skip two, and in the third stitch over, Work a double crochet. Okay, six chain again. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Now it says to skip three. So in the fourth stitch over, work my double crochet and then repeat, of course, why skip two then? Don't ask. Don't ask. Okay, then repeat. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I wish they could give multiples. This is, this is ridiculous. <laughs> because in order to go back and do my work. I have to undo this row, undo that row. The lengths of yarn aren't going to be the same because now it's cut. Urgh. Patterns like this are the absolute bane of my crochet existence. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 
two, three, four, five, six. Skip two in the third stitch over. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm sure that they would prefer you to end with nine double crochet, but that's not going to happen. I'm just going to end it like this, skip the three, and in the fourth stitch over, I will go through both loops. So, okay, going to have one of those pattern repeats on the very end. After the last time spending all that frustration trying to figure out the stitch count, and now the pattern is to cut at the end of every row. Forget it. They're not getting it. They are not getting my emotions from me today. No. <laughs> Okay, starting back at the beginning. I really am not a fan of patterns like this. I really just am not. Not only do we have to cut at the end. I'm fussy. Oh, I'm fussy. But not only do we have to cut at the end of every row, we also don't have a, a stitch reaper, a, a stitch count or a pattern multiple repeat. We don't, we don't have that. So I don't know what we're going to start with, but I'm just going to go ahead and join. And we start with nine double crochet. That's one, seven, eight, nine. Now we will chain 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, <clears throat> one single crochet into the middle loop of the row of chain in the preceding row. You will have to go in to two together to make it come exactly to the center. So one, two, three, four. Or, or you could just do that. <laughs> I will not. I'll behave. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I see what they mean. So skipping two chains. Going through this chain and going through this chain. <laughs> single crochet, even though it's basically a half double crochet. Um, let's see here. Uh, now do 11 more chain stitches and then repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Struggling. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, then it says uh, eleven more and repeat. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two. And in the third and fourth chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and I assume I, wait, repeat, oh, okay, so from this point right here, it says to repeat again, patterns from this era are not detailed at all, at this point right here, where we've just completed our single crochet, now do eleven more chain stitches and then repeat. Okay, so at this point right here, it said to do eleven more chain stitches and repeat, and then that's it. That's all it says. That's the end of the pattern. That's all it says. So to repeat would be to immediately work nine double crochet, which, no. 
That's not right. This one's a mess. I kind of want to pick another pattern. I wasn't happy with this one from the jump. I don't have to like every pattern I work on. I'm going to pick another pattern. I don't want to fuss with this one. I, I am in way too good of a mood. I had a wonderful day yesterday, and I don't want a pattern like this to drag down my mentals. I'm going to pick another pattern. If you guys want to give this one a go, here is the entire pattern. Remember, the uh, stitch terminologies are different. So, a uh, double crochet is a single crochet. A treble crochet is a double crochet, if you are that of a U.S. stitch term uh, user. Okay, let's at least see what it is. And I am going to pick another pattern. But I'm going to pick another pattern my way. I'm doing all of this my way today. Just a moment. Let me go get... Let me run down the hall. I, Justin should be up. We may have to pick another pattern because Justin may not be up yet before we reveal what that pattern was. I don't know. I'll be right back. Okay, goody goody. We have it. It is a bassinet counterpane or sofa cover it. That's what we have, which I'm sure is very beautiful. Um, but my mind is not even trying to deal with this today. It's just not, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm already, you know, oh. <laughs> so I'm going to pick another pattern, but, uh, instead of drawing from the bowl, I'm just going to grab a pattern out of the stack, right out of the stack. So here we go. Just going to pick a pattern. What do we have here? This is what my pinky attached to number 11. Let's go with number 11. <laughs> messy was that this is a messy video you know i'm in a super good mood so i just i didn't want to take the chance of the bowl picking a pattern i was going to hate so i figured if i just made a mess of it and picked a pattern this would be the way to go no picture it looks like 1879 make a chain as long as you desire oh <laughs> It's going to be fine. As long as they don't tell me to cut at the end of every row. Make a chain as long as you desire the width of your not sure to be. Okay, a double crochet into every loop. Second row, turn, yay, I love you already, and do three double crochet, three chain, miss three loops. This is starting to look a little bit like the last pattern. <laughs> Third row, turn and... Do five chain. They never tell you to work in the first stitch first, but I'm learning that. Three double crochet. Okay. Going with rest again. Let's go ahead and do another sample piece. Um, I think I'm going to end with uh, odd numbers instead of even. See if that doesn't do us any favors. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and chain up some stitches for a little sample of whatever this is, which I think it's another blanket. It sounds like it's another blanket. Okay, so I'm going to start off with 35 chains this time. So now it says, uh, okay, actually, I'm going to add three. Well, I want to start off with an odd number. So I'm going to add two. And one, two, three. Well, wait, let's see here. One, two, three. Okay, that should keep my 35. That should keep my 35 stitch count. And we're going to do one double crochet into every loop to the end. And I will be right back. Okay, so it says to turn and we're going to work three double crochet. So I am going to start with a stacked single. And of course, I, you know what, this time I'm just going to go through both loops because I, you know, I don't know that it actually needs me to work in the back loop only since it's a design. Um, three chain, miss three loops, one, two, three, and repeat. One, two, 
three, three chain, one, two, three, and in the fourth. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I wound up with two extra stitches. So now it says for the third row, turn and do five chains, but what I'm gonna do is start with a double crochet. They never tell you to do this, but I and I might be wrong for doing this now, but it always winds up working out where I should have started with a double crochet. Five chains, three, four, five. Okay, and then it says to work three double crochet into the first hole. One, two, three. Okay, two chains, three more double crochet into the same hole. Why do I feel like we've done this pattern? Why do I feel like we've done this pattern? Okay, chain two, one double crochet into the next. Have we done this pattern? Chain two, repeat, we've done this pattern. Surely we have, wait a minute. Just a moment. Okay, this was the frustrating pattern before where I couldn't figure out the, uh, the, the stitch repeat. It's not the same, but it's almost identical. So this one starts off with uh, make a chain of the desired width, right? Wait, is it the same? Third row, turn, do five chains. So. It's, is it the same pattern? Hold on. Is. First row, Let's treble, see. that's okay. The turn and do three double, three chain from the early 1900s. I'm pretty sure. I really do feel like. Why do I feel like we've done this? Just a moment. I think this is a pattern repeat. Doggone it. I'm looking at the video. It, it all looks exactly the same. Oh my God, I can't win with this. Should we just sit and have coffee and chat for a while? Because uh, I can't, I can't with this. Um, what is even happening? <laughs> This one here is called an anti macassar diamond pattern. Now this is a sneaky, sneaky little book. Sneaky, sneaky little book. Um, it is the exact same pattern as the baby's bassinet blanket. All they did was change this, the freaking stinking title of the pattern. That's all they did. That's sneaky. It's the exact same pattern. Every, every word of it has essentially been 18th or 17th century copy and pasted they just changed the title that's you know what are we gonna do now we don't we are two two patterns down what are we gonna do i have here the lion yarn book of manual of worsted work let's just play around with a stitch Let's just play around with the stitch. I was looking, this one here looks kind of fun. Let's see what this one's about. This looks cool too. But this one here caught my attention. Let's check out this pattern right here. Why not? We're just gonna do that today. Doggone it, we're gonna do that. Can I even title this video a mystery pattern? You know, I'm probably gonna because it, it is a mystery pattern-ish. The mystery is, why? Can somebody answer me that? <laughs> Anyways, okay. So this is called the blanket stitch. And it says to make a chain the length required. You know what? I've heard just just about enough of that today. I've heard just about enough of that today. Now you, you tell me how many stitches I need, dang you. You tell me and you tell me now. No, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll make a chain. <laughs> 
Okay, 25 chains. And it says here, first row, this is going to be written in U.S. stitch terms. One half double crochet in each stitch. So I'm going to chain one extra, so that's 26, so that I can work my first half double crochet. So I'm going to skip the first chain. And I'm going to work a row of half double crochets. Okay, I will be right back. All right, now it says to chain two and skip the first stitch. It says to draw up a loop in the next stitch over, okay? And draw up a loop in the skipped stitch, okay? Okay, uh, wool over. see here chain two skip the first stitch draw up a loop in the next stitch draw up a loop in the skipped stitch wool over draw through one loop wool over and draw through one loop all right so wool over and draw through one loop wool over through three loops. Chain one, repeat to the end of the row. So skipping a stitch, draw up a loop, then draw up a loop in the skipped stitch, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through three. Okay. I can do this. This feels good. <laughs> so skip the next stitch and in the next stitch over, draw up a loop. Then we come back through the skipped loop to the skipped stitch and draw up another, oops. I spoke too soon, I can't do it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> draw up a loop here, draw up a loop here. Yarn over, pull through the first loop. Yarn over, pull through the three. Hey! Okay. One, two, three, pull through one, pull through three. Skip, pull up a loop. Two, pull through one, pull through three. Skip, draw up a loop. Loop. Pull through one, pull through three. Oh, it curves. Oh, it bends. Hmm. Okay, I did catch my mistake. I went back and, and started fixing it. I know I was supposed to chain one after each stitch. So I, I unfortunately, when I did catch it and uh, fixed it, I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So I am filming this now uh, during the editing process. So what you're about to see now is me already discovering that I made a mistake. I already went back and started to fix it. So here we go. No. I 
I'm yelling at myself too. Don't feel bad. How could I have missed that? Easy, really easy. <laughs> I could miss it easy, that's how. <laughs> Okay, and I'm still one stitch short. That's or one stitch too many, and that's just fine. That's fine. It's fine. Not gonna worry about it. Okay. Hey, now that looks correct. Okay, so now we're gonna work half double crochet in each space. There is one thread between each space to end of row. Seems like there is, uh-uh, do what it says. Do what it says. Well, what do I do about my first stitch? Doesn't it look like there's a half double crochet in every stitch and every space? Doesn't it? Maybe that's what they mean by each, each space plus Maybe they want me to work it in each each stitch plus the spade. Let's just let's just see. If I have to work it in each stitch, or else it's going to buckle again, right? Yeah, that's right. I wish that they would, uh, you know, specifically say stitch and then specifically say stitch or uh, space. Forgive me. Now, am I getting that great texture? Not, not so much, not so much. So, let's see here, loop front loop. Cause the texture that they have, it looks like they're working all front loops. Let me work a little bit of this and we'll have a look. See if it looks like the photo. Kind of getting that texture. You know, that like Roman column texture, kind of. See, that's that texture. Hmm. But it's not very strong. I like it though, it's pretty. Compared to not working that front loop, let's look at Let's look at what you prefer. You know, it doesn't have to look just like the picture. It could be whatever you prefer. It's certainly faster this way, easier. Yeah, it's a breeze that way. You know what? No, that looks all right. What do you think? Which do you prefer? It's entirely up to you. I'm going to do the first row all messed up like this. <laughs> this whole video is all messed up, so ask me at this point if I really care anymore. Of course I care. But in this video, I'm just kind of... You know, doing whatever. Just doing the whatevers. Okay, then we chain two. 
skip the first stitch here we go come back into the first stitch pull through one pull through three then chain one and then repeat I may when I get to this point I may work those back loops and and just work this one portion with back loops and front loops and work this one portion without worrying about any of that and seeing how it looks. So I'm going to work, I'm going to work some more rows of this off camera. I will be right back. Let's see how it turns out. This is a really pretty stitch pattern. So here's how it looks working all front loops and back loops. And here's how it looks otherwise. And I like the otherwise I like, I prefer this. I really do. I like this. This is fun. This also makes it a little taller. I like this. It's a fun stitch. So it's, this was not much of a mystery, more of a fumbling of a football over and over again. And then we decided to just go ahead and play baseball instead. <laughs> okay, guys, um, I don't even know what to say about this video. The next one will be right as rain. I can assure you of that. And this is a very interesting little book. We'll have to play with it some more. I love you guys so much. Thanks for your patience with this one. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>